Soybean harvest in Michigan is finally in high gear. Brian Washburn and Uncle David Williams were in the combines between St. John's and Ovid. So it's October 20th. Typically, we're a bit further into harvest by now. We've had lots of rain, and that's made field conditions not good. And beans don't want to dry down. So there's been a lot of guys uh, I know that have went into the beans when they're a little wet and just dried them. Uh, we decided to switch to corn and we ran corn for a while uh, until the weather straightened out. So now we're back in the beans and um, trying to go at them and get them done here before the weather changes again. These beans today that we're combining are uh, 2.8. With the season the way it was, these later season beans, I thought that there would be a big difference between those and like our 1.6s. However, the, the yield has been very similar uh, between the varieties, um, so we're not seeing a big difference. We are probably a few days from being done with our Roundup Readies, and then we're going to clean out combines and, and go to our non-GMOs after that. We actually ended up rolling all of our farms except one, one small field that I actually forgot about and I went to combine that small field here the other day and it was a pain in the neck. The roller has been great as far as being able to cut at night, dust flying, you can't see the ground, uh, these big heads you can't really see all the way out to the end a lot of times. It kind of gives us that insurance of uh, rolling the ground and, and making sure that we don't have something that's gonna put us down in the fall when we're trying to harvest. We are doing 57 average right now. That's fine. This farm's a pretty good farm, so I'm kind of disappointed in that. We've had as good as uh, upper 60s averages, and we've had as bad as uh, 45 averages. So I would say, all in all, uh, this year, we're, we're pretty happy with, with how things have turned out, really, uh, because we didn't have any water for so long, uh, we're kind of surprised to see what we do have. We're running on RTK, so we're sub-inch accuracy. The satellite knows exactly you know, where the combine's been and where it hasn't. And so it's keeping track of how many acres we've done, yield, we have an active yield system in this combine, which is new for John Deere. They have scale pads that they put in their in the grain tanks, so it's constantly calibrating all day long, and so we found that that's the accuracy is is really good in comparison to our scale weights. Also, you know we've got our guidance, so we can make full swaths uh, all the way across the field. And you bring in another combine into the field, he's also going to work off from the guidance line that I already made. So everybody's making a full swath. So we're doing it as efficiently as, as possible. These beans are going in my bin, but uh, eventually they will probably go to a processor um, in Fostory, Ohio would be my guess, or uh, to a boat program down in Toledo to go overseas. We're excited about the Ithaca plant going in, and however, they're not taking beans uh, right now or this early this next year, so um, hopefully in the future, we'll be able to sell beans to Ithaca uh, as long as they're competitive. 